What's up everybody, it's your boy Ragdoll back with another part of the Pokemon Crystal Nuzlocke Challenge. Um, in that last video, we caught a couple team members, um, released the Caterpie. <laughs> we got Fleek Bird, the Pidgey, and then we got Snowball, the Geodude. Um, after I caught him, I did do some leveling up real quick. Um, Let's get on with it. Hopefully, we get some more solid encounters and um, no deaths, you know? Let's go. This is our boy, Youngster Joey, right here. Youngster Joey's been to more places than, you know, me. <laughs> this kid gets around. And this is going to be a, a huge episode because hopefully what we can get is our first gym badge. If it doesn't happen this video, it'll definitely be the next one. Totodile looking like it's going to be, you know, putting in work. I mean, it's our starter. The starter always puts in work. I just hope my starter doesn't die though. But we got him up to level nine. And like I remember, like, you know, the level cap is, you know, it's gonna be nine through 12. But I'm gonna try to keep my levels as low as possible. So we're gonna switch, we're gonna switch total dial out with um, release the Caterpie. <laughs> that is a nice name for Caterpie release. Man, oh man. And don't mind me drinking my coffee. This is what I look like when I'm recording. <clears throat> I might have to get Caterpie to level 10 before I fight Faulkner. I'm not gonna lie, man, because, uh, going in there with a metapod, I just don't like that. But you know what? The good thing about that off-screen leveling is I put it on level 6, just so I can get it to level 7 and evolve it. Now, yeah, you know what, I'm not even gonna, not even gonna do that to myself. I'm gonna start this run, since it's a Nuzlocke, I have to learn to play around the crit. So, like, if I think I can get critical hit, switch out. Switch out. Don't go for it. Be safe, you know? Switch out. I will not let the viewers bully me into terrible decisions <laughs> all right let me use some potions no not a potion a berry and then I'm also gonna give it a berry to, to hold hold items are acceptable in battle yes part of the rules part of the rules Instead of a bug Pokemon, he found a trainer. Terrible luck this kid has. He ran into me, you know? The best out there. I'm not gonna say anything. <laughs> I missed, he missed, and see, look at that. Boom, critical hit. Yeah. Caterpie might be destined for something great. Oh, man. That's the thing about the beginning of the game. Like, it's brutally slow. I don't think, like, these battles right here, they don't mean much. But... 
they play a huge part later. The double caterpie, no weedle. Hmm. I missed two tackles in a row and I got hit with a critical hit. So, that's how this run is going to go. <laughs> this is why Caterpie needs more power. It needs that power. Strength. But the good thing is, it's about to evolve. So here we go released Caterpie's evolving into that good old Metapod nice and it learned Harden great it's one of the best moves in the game right there alright this is a route for a new encounter um, switching the fleet bird. Alright, let's see what we get. I hope it's Bell Sprout. I hope it's Bell Sprout. Okay, it's a Pidgey. I mean, it ain't bad, but we have a Pidgey, so. I'm gonna knock this thing out for the experience. Yeah, I'm a. Well, you know what? It's. It's just one more turn. I mean, I guess we may as well watch it. But I really do hope I get a Bell Sprout on this route. Not a Weedle. I don't want a Weedle. I don't want. I definitely don't want Hop It. I want a Bell Sprout. Come on, game. Do me some good. Give me a Bell Sprout. Bell Sprout. We got a bell sprout. Okay. Don't kill it. Okay. Uh, do one more. Just don't get a crit. Nice. Perfect catch range right there. I didn't buy any more Pokeballs. Okay, let's just hope for the best right here. Oh yeah. Okay. Caught Bellsprout. A nickname for Bellsprout. <laughs> My mind wouldn't let me or I'm not gonna say my mind my morals won't let me nickname it the first thing that came to mind um <laughs> I'm gonna call it James <laughs> I know it's a female but uh you know back in those Kanto Johto days I want to say it was Johto those Johto days Team Rocket James had a victory bell. So I'm gonna nickname it James. You know what? Just because it's a female, I'm gonna nickname it Jamie. There we go. Oops. Jameis. Jamie. There we go. And that's our encounter for this route. I see Dark Cave right there. We're gonna come back to that. Oh. Uh... Cause I need to buy some Pokeballs and I guess I'll switch into Snowball. Yeah, you know what? Fleek Bird can stay in the front. Let me just give it a potion and also a berry 
and let's keep this thing going. Yeah, let's keep this thing going. I know this guy has a Weedle for sure. I don't know if he has two of them, but I know he has one for sure. Yeah, Fleek Bird. Fleek Bird is going to play a huge part. Look at all that damage. The damage. The destruction. Nah, it's only a level 2 Caterpie. <laughs> I really hope I'm able to get at least one fully evolved Pokemon. I hope it's for Alligator. Like, Totodile has to make it to the end. It has to. I would hate it if my starter died. I, I just... Let me not be so negative. Let me just be positive like I usually am. You know, Jesus loves you. Alright. He wouldn't hurt me. Nah. Not in this run. And as I proceed to say that, I miss. Like... Sweet mother of Arceus. <laughs> Level 8, we're looking good. I know Poison Sting. Wow. The first turn poison. The tackle miss. Man. It might not be a good day for, for video games today. Next thing you know, he's going to get a critical hit. found a pokeball just one I would take this one ball and go run into dark cave but absolutely not because if I miss the catch that's just the worst but all right we already got our encounter let's see what we got here man luck was on my side when a hop hip didn't pop up. This would have been a terrible encounter. <laughs> no doubt about it. But I'm gonna just knock it out for that good old EXP. Yeah, there's no way. I can make that level cap of 9. I just can't. So yeah, the level cap for the first badge is going to be 9 through 12. It, nah. It has to be. Alright, but I'm about to heal up for, you know, a quick sec. And then go buy some Pokeballs. So I'm about to pause real quick. Okay, okay. Bought some items. Bought some Pokeballs. Bought some potions. Um, so yeah, let's go get our second encounter of the day, being a, I hope, I hope this one is either a Zubat or I get the Lucky Dunsparce from Dark Cave. I, I hope, actually, since I have a flying type already. It really doesn't matter what's uh what's in here. Hold on, let me see if I remember correctly how to get through. Okay, here's our encounter. What is it? Okay, Zubat. All right, level two. Okay. Metapod. I don't think Metapod hits hard enough to 
knock this thing out. Not in one hit, anyway. Okay. Leech life is... Oh, man. Using Zubat is about to be brutal until I learn a new move. Oh, my goodness. That was scary. But that's a, that's a good critical hit right there. All right. Let's catch our fifth. Is this our fifth? Yep, yep. This is our fifth team member right here. And there we go. Zubat. All right. So we got our teammate Zubat, Crotchbat for Crowbat. You know what? I'm not going to nickname it Crotchbat. That's just inappropriate. <laughs> so I'm going to nickname it Brobat because it evolves with friendship. So we got Brobat. I know it's a female. I'm getting a lot of female Pokemon. Like, I'm not going to complain, but... Oh, that was the sixth team member. So we, we got a full team right here. And on paper, on paper, I'll be the first one to say it. This team is ass. It sucks. Like, no way. Now I'm playing. <laughs> it's, uh... It has potential. It has potential. I can... I may be able to make this work. But here we go. Grabbed a free potion. And then... Let me see if I remember how to get out of here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay. And there we go. All right. I want to say Teddy Ursa pops up in that dark cave as well, but eh, it's okay. All right. So this is what is about to happen. I'm about to take this Zubat, this newly caught Zubat to Sprout Tower. <laughs> Cause why not? Get some levels on this guy. Uh, you know what? I'm not gonna waste time going to the Pokemon Center. I'll just throw a potion and a berry on it. And we're gonna expect Zubat to do some great things. That's what we're gonna do. I know I can also get an encounter here, but there's only two Pokemon that pop up here. And that's Gasly and Rattata. But Gasly only pops up at night. So being the fact that it's daytime, it's safe to say my next encounter is about to be a Rattata. But Rattata isn't a bad encounter either. But this battle is about to be extremely long. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick the recording back up on the last Bell Sprout. He has three Bell Sprout, and Leech Life is going to be doing one damage. His Vine uh, Vine Whip is going to be doing one damage. I'm going to pick up the recording at the end of the battle. Be patient with me, folks. Okay, so this is the last Bell Sprout. I'm using Struggle. I used my Berry. Finally, but, but in the process, we grew three levels. <laughs> yeah, so using Zubat is about to be extremely difficult. I mean, I got to use my, my berries and I got to use my potions. Because I don't want to go back to the Pokemon Center and, um, Restore the HP for Leech Life. It's just... 
It's pointless. It is so pointless. But Zubat is going to be getting some good levels. Honestly, what I should do is just... Yeah, this, this is what I'm going to do because I do not want to... I'm going to I'm going to pause the recording again. And the next time I come back, we're just going to be fighting the elder from Sprout Tower because have y'all watched this? This part, it's brutal. It's going to be brutal. Zubat Zubat's moves suck. That's all there is to it. Hold on, wait. No, wait. I think I'm about to learn Supersonic. Oh, fuck. This changes everything. Because <laughs> now I gotta use 20 Supersonic. Oh my goodness. Well, still, this part would still be brutal because... I'll come back later, guys. I'll be back. Okay, I'm finally back. So, I fought everybody. And, um, here we go. Finna fight Sage Nico. But first... Or not Sage Nico, but the Elder. Um... And look who it is. What's his name? Punk Butt? I think I named him Punk Butt. But here he is. Looking like a jerk. A thief. A rascal. A heathen. Someone who wasn't raised correctly. And it shows. Oh, okay. Yeah, his name is Punk Butt. Alright, but let me show y'all my team real quick. So, this is the problem with trying to do a Nuzlocke in Generation 2. The level cap being level 9. The team, the entire team is almost there. Um, Bellsprout isn't getting any love right now because uh there's literally nothing it can do right now i'm fighting other bell sprout the first gym is a flying type gym bell sprout isn't getting any love whatsoever this first episode you know or well yeah yeah this episode i caught it in so i mean exclude it everything else is almost on level nine so I feel like after this battle, something is definitely going to hit level 10. I just don't know what, you know? I mean, I can try to go this whole battle just using Zubat and Metapod, but I mean, come on now. But let's go. Let's just get into it. I'm going to try to keep this team under level 10. I did for extra a little extra experience i did fight the gym trainers already at the gym um so after that all we gotta fight is faulkner after this i'm gonna try to fit that in this episode too come on now i just hate the way i miss after all the positive things i say Unfortunate things always happen. Just like that. And this might be one of those slow battles too. This one might be brutally slow. Because I think he has two Bell Sprout, one Hoot Hoot. And he already snapped out of confusion. That's just so unfair. And I miss again. I gotta get these supersonics to work. And they're just not. Like, it's so unfortunate. Like, this is, this is just brutal. Like, how many is that? Is that four? Four in a row I just missed? And this is why, you know, this is why something is going to hit level 10 because I just might switch out 
and just hit this thing with a gust from uh, Pidgey. And it snapped out of confusion so fast. Like, man, my luck is just terrible. We gotta, we gotta make it work, though. There we go. Finally hit himself. Do you see how fast he snaps out of confusion? That is so infuriating. Because it takes so much for me to hit. It takes so much for me to hit a supersonic. And for him to snap out in two turns, that's... Honestly, it's pure disrespect is what it is. And then he's using growth. Now, if I was anything but Zubat, I would definitely be afraid right now. He snaps out so fast. And like, at this point, I think I should just spam leech life but I see no point I see no point in doing that I'm doing like 2 HP alright but this next one should definitely knock it out which would be great see I, I got 1 HP back out of all of that I get 1 HP he sends out a level 10 hoot hoot uh, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to switch out to Bellsprout and then switch out to another Pokemon. Probably Totodile. And then try to knock it out with Totodile. Oh, Totodile is one of those Pokemon that's almost at the level cap. So... I should have just attacked and then finished it off with something else. Use Rage to get a slight power boost. time and then switch to metapod and then hopefully metapod can be great knock out the hoot hoot and knock out the other bell sprout but we can only hope right we can only hope Something tells me I should just evolve Metapod, just get it to level 10, like, not try too hard to get, to try to stay within that, uh, within the level cap. Let's see, look, there he goes, man, using those growths, like, that's super scary to me. Let me see, what's Fleek Bird experience looking like? I'm gonna hit this thing with the uh, one gust and then switch out. And then try to finish the battle off with Zubat. If I kill it, that's just, well. Oh, I got a critical hit, good job. Oh, it's gonna grow a level, dang it. I mean, it's it's not bad. We 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 knew this was gonna come in, like we saw it, and that's why the level cap is nine through twelve, or I guess twelve. But all right, 
I'm about to teleport to the gym, so I'll literally see you guys in a flash. Okay, so I'm back. And here's the plan. I'm going to try to go as long as possible without using Pidgey because Pidgey hit level 10. Now, I know I keep saying that my level cap is going to be level 12, but I want this to be as difficult as possible. Here's the plan. Faulkner's Pidgey only knows Tackle and Mudslap. This is where we can take advantage and use Bellsprout because it literally, you know, costs nothing. When he uses Pidgeotto, and let's just say Bellsprout is still in the fight, he's going to use Gust. From there, I could switch into Geodude to take the Gust. Then, I could switch into Zubat and use Supersonic and just pray. At that point, I can pray for confusion confusion hits that's not a good plan but that's my only plan I know something is about to die yeah yep what's that lower four quad mean some of you may die <laughs> Uh, yeah, somebody is going to die, but I'm willing to make that sacrifice all day. Oh, yeah. Starting off with Bellsprout. <laughs> okay. See how much his tackle does. Five? Okay. Okay, Vine Whip does a decent amount. And it's looking like we got a speed tie going on. Just hope he doesn't get a crit okay give me oh man I know earlier I just said I have to play around critical hits but I really can't help myself I, I can't help myself I feel the need to go for Vine with. Okay, I got a new plan. Switch out. And then this time, I go for Harden. This was a terrible plan. <laughs> I thought if I could get some defense boost, I could take a gust. And after living one gust, I could go for string shot. But that's not the case. No, it is not. So here's the Pidgeotto. So we go back to the original plan. He's going to use Gust. I could. Nah. Nah. He's going to use Gust. Now he's going to use Mudslap. Now. This is huge. I have to hit supersonic. I gotta hit the supersonic. I missed. Okay. But we lived one gust, so we could we could live another. We got that one. Alright, that's huge. So now this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to send in Totodile and start using Leer. Hit yourself. Come on.
You have to hit yourself one time. And he got a critical hit. That's just my luck. I gotta go for the scratch. Finally, he hits himself. Jeez. Okay, hit yourself one more time. Of course he doesn't. Just don't crit me. Okay. This is the turn he snaps out of confusion. Yep, called it. Alright, now he uses Mud Slap. Good job! Yes! Literally every Pokemon fought this battle. But there we go. We beat Faulkner. I was extremely nervous. Something was gonna die. I would have chose Zubat or Bellsprout to die. I'm not gonna lie. One of those two are gonna definitely be the one to kick the bucket. But there we go. This was a huge episode right here. We beat the Sprout Tower. We got our first gym badge. And so far, we are deathless. Which is great. Amazing, even. But uh, I am about to end this episode right here. So, you know... Look at this guy. Hey, you know that egg you gave me? It turns out it was a real egg. Like, no shit. <laughs> we said that this whole time. But whatever. But uh, I am going to end this episode right here. Um, thanks for tuning in. Uh, in the next episode, we're going to be getting a couple, a couple new count encounters. And we're going to be trying to stay deathless man because that's that's huge i want you know what i guess i'll use the stupid uh who do i want to get rid of this guy's close to evolving um for now let me let me deposit the pidgey for now I just want to hatch this stupid egg. Honestly, I might hatch the egg before I do anything else. But like I just said though, huge episode. Um, we got a lot of stuff done. We got some encounters, got our first badge. Um, in the next episode, we're going to get more Pokemon added to the team. And hopefully we can get to um, the next city. But we'll see what happens. But like usual, be safe, be careful, tell someone you love them. And until next time, peace out.